Hey everyone, my name is Marshall Mind, bringing you a very quick online ranked match plus live commentary. I just hopped on. I'm gonna try to get a fight using Ryan Beta. Um, I used Ryan Beta uh, yesterday. He felt really good. He felt really, 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 really good to me. So I'm gonna try to use Ryan Beta again. Um, for this time around, looks like we're facing um, Anthony Johnson. <laughs> you guys know how his fight versus Anthony Johnson went. Um, he went out there, he panicked, he didn't want to get hit by Anthony Johnson at all. He just shot for a takedown from a mile away, he got sprawled, and completely and utterly destroyed on the ground. So we're going to try not to make the same mistake. I'm not going to be too afraid to stand up with him, but we're not going to exchange. It's not going to be an exchangey fight because you can't go punch for punch against Anthony Johnson. He's too powerful, way too powerful. So we're going to try to move around. We're going to try to fight the way that I believe Ryan Bader should have fought. Um, I believe that he should have moved around a little bit, be, uh, fought a little bit more technical, the same exact way that he fought against uh, Rashad Evans. You know, use his footwork and then only go for a takedown when he sees a clear opening. You know, uh, he has better conditioning than, than Anthony Johnson. Um, I believe he's also more mentally strong than Anthony Johnson. And uh, that was a fight that he absolutely could have won if he just fought a little bit differently than he did. But let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I don't know who my opponent is, but um, let's get this ranked match on the way. By the way, there's a series that I'm going to be starting very new on my channel. It's going to be called My Mistake. It's basically a series where I post my losses and I go through the fight and tell you guys the mistakes that I made in that fight, what I should have done better what I should have done differently and uh, why I lost. Um, I'm going to be posting the very first one um, in a little bit and uh, let me know if you guys enjoy it. Alright, so let's move around a little bit and see what this guy has to offer. He's going to the body, which means that shooting for a takedown is not going to be easy. He can just knock us out of the takedown with those punches to the body. Good job. I'm going to go see what we, see what we can do. I want to get him to throw shots. Throw shots, you know, waste his stamina a little bit. Caught him with that one. Just, you know, play a little bit smart. Caught him with that. What happens is when you catch him... With more shots, they become a little... Okay. We're going to start working his body a little bit. I want this guy to get tired. Start working his body. Ooh, caught me with that. Let's work his body. Let's get him tired a little bit so that we can start going in. Back up. Ooh, caught me with two uppercuts. Take down. We got him. He'll try to get up real quick. Okay, that's okay. That's all right. Reversed. All right, we're going to stay on top for the rest of the round. Let's give back to backside and try to hold this position a little bit. He'll try to get back to side control. Let's hold it. Let's just... I like riding my opponents. There's certain positions that I don't mind losing. Like side control, backside. I don't mind losing these positions. I can just ride them. Just ride them until he brings his stamina down. He's being patient in mount. That's the good thing. But let's posture up and see, see what he can do. Pulled us down. Okay. Just fake and get back to mount like that. Okay. He's holding us down. Pull that up. All right, let me put some punches to him. This fight's done. Good fight, buddy. All right. There you go. Ryan Beta is not... He's, he's really not bad. He was... I felt like he was bad in ESports UFC 1. 
But with the damage system in ESports UFC 2 and with the stopping power, I mean the stopping power is not where it needs to be, but with the stopping power that we do have, Ryan Beta is powerful. I mean when you land those overhand shots, you can time it. And when you land it, you get you get a hit reaction every single time. So that makes him very usable. His ground game is good as well. Like when I was on top, I felt very dominant. I didn't feel like I was struggling to deny those transitions at all. You know, he, he, he feels really good. I, you know, I, I really enjoyed using him. And I will try to get another fight with him very soon. But let me know in the comment section what you thought about the fight. And uh, I will see you guys in the very next ranked match. Be safe, guys. Thanks for watching.